and they want you to want to find out who the guy is. Yeah. And they put him in there. Right. And that's what I look like right now. But I'm alive. <laughs> You're, still alive. You're very alive. Okay. Very alive. So. Anyways, this is Jack Newton. We're at the Soyuz um, Observatory B and B. Okay. And Jack has been trying to get me to come up here for 20 years. Yes, okay. and he finally arrived. I finally arrived, yes, and here great. we are. And uh, of course, this is um, this is the 16-inch uh, LX200 telescope that he's done all these famous images with. There's a Carnado 90 that's on here. He does. He is world famous for his solar images. He does. He is a pioneer of uh, astrophotography, CCD color imaging. Uh, he's written tons of books, given zillions of lectures, uh, and he's known all over the world. And we're talking now about. Uh, He's got an Explore Scientific 9 millimeter, 120 degree apparent field eyepiece on there. And it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, three nights ago, we had subarc second seeing on Saturn, and wow. we could trace Cassini's division right through the little bitty thin part and all the way around. Wow. And the color was unbelievable. You could see the yellow tints and the uh, and the bands uh, on Saturn. And <laughs> That wind shear is like 1,100 miles an hour, and uh, the guests have just absolutely blew them away. They've never seen anything. And what I really like of, of it, although I'm too old to take the, the whole field of view in at one mm -hmm. crack, is that <clears throat> when you throw it onto Saturn under that kind of power, this is over 400 power, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't quite in the middle. But by tipping your eye, you can spot it off in the edge. Off in the, the edge, field, right? So why? Yeah, and you and don't have to move the scope, you right? You center the telescope and bingo. Yeah, and it's dead center. Yeah. See, that's not that's not even something I would have uh, even really talked about. You know, uh, that 120 degree apparent feel was. I did it because we. I wanted to get something that was theoretically the widest field of view possible. But you're right. There's some people that can't see well, the yeah, whole thing. Well, yeah, I'm 74 years old, and my eye won't too. But I, I would buy that in a heartbeat just because of the fact that even though it's got a bigger field of view than you can what I'm capable look. of, I can look off to the side and recenter an object like a, a planet. Mm. And uh, and uh, there's a lot of younger people, of course, that are looking through that same eyepiece and mm -hmm. take advantage of it. But mm -hmm. what a sweetheart! That uh, thanks. That, uh, Thank you. Top notch. Thanks. Well done.